Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the start of the Diet Coke. No, no. The new taste. Um, <laughs> welcome uh, to Absolute Cuts. Uh, this is going to be interesting tonight because mm. um, I've just I've just finished a gig, um, which I took uh, as well. I took it. I took it a while ago because I really like guy James Nakisi, who's uh, who's a Kiwi comic. I that, still thought uh, it was Nakia's. Nokia, Jim Nokia. That's how I spell his name. I know. Um, the uh, he runs a, a political topical new material night at the stand, and I've just done it. And um, I was I was worried about uh, a lot of the new shit that I yeah. could do. And I we were then going to record. We we're planning on recording two after this, and then oh, thank God I had too much shit <laughs> to do. And thank the fucking Lord because Colin is off his. Tips. I I look yeah, and it, it got worse too that I landed here and fucking Daniel's here, and then mm. we were been drinking whiskey as well. Yeah, on top of it, so yeah, absolutely, you know, I bought this bad boy yesterday too. Is it a, a dildo? <laughs> that's well, uh, that's to get my water in per day. Oh yes, yeah, that's not the but, bad bottle. But that can't. That's not all you need for a water a day. I know that. I know that. I had. I've, I used to have the two liter bastards, but you had one of those big ones that you, like maps out the day for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, do you know what? I got too competitive then. I'd be like, I'm gonna fucking. I'll get ten a.m.s done by three yeah. p.m. It doesn't look that much. Yeah, it does. But really, you, you know, what? some days you, you're you're actually proud of yourself. You're going to polish that. Other days, it is a fucking do you know, a slug. Do you know you can drown? Like you can take, you can drink too much water and drown. Yeah. Your lungs, I think it's your lungs, I think it's your lungs. Lungs of your kidneys just can't take them out of water. Like, because you just go, I'll just, like, you would think, you, I'll just fucking keep drinking water. You, just, you could just drown in your kitchen. You just drown, well, I mean, you don't drown, as in you don't drown the same way you would drown in the sea, but your your in, your insides, okay. your innards drown. T- okay. You drown I, I yourself. I don't think like there's, <laughs> there's no science to back this. There is. That, you fucking drown, you do. It's like, try it. Try it try, try, try it. Drown when, you go, when you go back, just drink as much water. Just keep <laughs> drinking water and you will drown. I wonder how much water you'd have to drink to be able to drown yourself on your couch. It's not that much. I, I, it's bound to be. This is like that thing it's, when you're a kid. Like, if you eat 12 bananas, you'll die. That's not a thing, though. That was a thing. You, potassium overdose. Fuck off. Potassium that was a overdose. school thing. If you uh, We were always told in school. I don't know. Uh, it was like an urban muff, probably. But you, you eat 12 bananas. That's the level. And you'll have a potassium overdose. Really? And you'll die. I don't know if it's true. That must have what happened to that orangutan <laughs> that used to be in my class. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Carrying the dead body. <laughs> I've got. I've got a. I've got a. I've got a wee. Um, kind of like something to show you. All right. Like, oh, right. I've had an accident today. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, for people that are just listening, Colin's got a tiny wee plaster on his bald head. I thought that fucking tiny. What happened? Uh, uh, well, I, I was. Um, <laughs> I got up and I absolutely kate. I was f- like refitting the bin. Like the right. bin thing, but I went up and there was a what bin? A, what refund? What bin? Just what, a the bag. Just, yeah, but but I I forgot there was like a shelf above me uh, right. with a hook on it. Uh, oh. I, I went and fucking nearly like lifted my head clean off. That's I did, amazing. I did pull a chunk of my flesh out of my head and drop it in the. Like, Jesus or, like, Christ! It wasn't bad enough for like stitches, but it was bleeding all over the place. And I had five minutes to go before the 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 chemist, the pharmacy closed. Did you so, go to the hospital? No, nah, I was a chemist just, and they were like, Ugh. Uh, and they were like, just gauze it up <laughs> here. You know, you so got, you Ryan Gosling a, here. You may need a, t- <laughs> you may need a tetanus. I might, I might, it really did hook. Yeah, I spoke French for about 10 minutes after <laughs> <laughs> fluently. <laughs> Let the funky music do the talking. Fucking hell, man. Is it still sore? Yeah. Did you take painkillers? No. Nah. No. Nah. I don't know why I took painkillers. I felt like I didn't deserve them. Jesus Christ! So yeah, so not only do you, are you, I'm also spaced out because of that, because of a, so you've got a con- possible concussion. You got concussion mm. and weed, yeah, and whiskey. Yeah, fuck me, man. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm like, thank, a, I'm thank, just like a regular thank NFL God player. We're, thank God we're not doing that cerebral <laughs> a film this week because Jesus fucking thank, Christ! <laughs> thank fuck we're only doing one of the Fast and the Furious <laughs> films. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fast Ten. Um, um, yeah, Jesus Christ! Christ Almighty, that looks that looks grim. It was big, big week for us. Oof. Um, you also got a. We need to talk about you got a cat this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got a cat. I'm not even allowed to talk about this Why? that much. Because it's like, it's a part of the contract. What? Genuinely, it's part of the contract. Like, I can't, like, put up. Am I allowed to talk about it? Yeah, you can, yeah right. most of it. I, I, basically, I can't really talk about the owner right, okay. or distinguishing things about the cat. I'll tell you why, because, right, start the story. What do you mean, you mean distinguishing why. things about the cat? Why, why would it because have a distinguish? Is it got a fucking comb over? If you or? don't know what's happening here, I've got a. <laughs> I'm fostering cats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fostering cats. Right. What a shite sentence to say. I'm fostering cats. I'm cat. a cat fosterer, all right? <laughs> I foster cats. I don't know what your problem is, right? <laughs> so these cats, you know, there's something going on at home. Either the yeah. owner's d- uh, sick, dying, fucking uh, yeah. whatever, in jail. You know, and somebody can't take care of the cat. You take the cat in for a couple of months until whatever's smoothed over and you give it back. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, you're a foster. <laughs> you're a foster cat. But the problem is they're like, you can't put up pictures of it or thing because what happens is people are like, I know that fucking cat. Why is their fucking owner being a... No one would ever do that. I, I know. Is, listen, I know, but it's in the contract. There is not any cat that is that distinguishable oh, come that people on. would go, I know that cat. I know cats. Fuck off. I know local cats. cats. Literally. No, you don't. No, you don't. A couple of cool cats. No. Any cat. Local jazz band. Even even the cats that I had when I was a kid, right, I'm fairly certain another similar looking cat could have come in and I'd have have fully accepted it as my cat. You are chatting out your fucking... Don't be. You're chatting out your fucking wise here. Cats are not that distinguishable. Of course they're distinguishable. No, they're not. Mind you, this one is jet, completely jet black. Right, so it's a black cat. It's like like long-haired. Right. So, you know, like Maine Coon kind of hair. <laughs> Sorry, what? And, yeah, Maine Coon. <laughs> don't get a lot to, call, know, yeah, yeah. Get a to call him that uh, anymore. <laughs> 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 so, um, but the, what, what I want to know is why foster it? Why not buy a new cat? Because... No, because it, this is like uh, a charity. Plus, I'm away a lot. <laughs> I can just go like, you know. But then there will be, a, like, surely you must be worried about that you'll get attached to this cat. Yeah, I, I feel like I've already made back. a huge error on cat number right. one. It's day number two, Aye. and I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare. So is this going to continue? Like, Yeah, I'll get another one after. And that. you don't know how long you're going to have this one for? Well, Presumably. For, they, they, if they give you kind of like a minimum... And what if they want so to this one? I'll have this one for two months. What if the owner dies? Is that Ooh, now I your, don't know. Is that now your cat? I don't know what happens, but basically in the contract, they're basically like, you do not get this cat. Get that out of your head. Because I feel like they, they have to make this. They have to, I think they have to say this because people are going to get attached all the time. They're like, whatever happens here, whatever fucking thing, you do not but, get this cat. But then, but surely that would be the most logical way because. So what, wh- where's the cat going to go then? Surely the best thing would be if the cat had an owner, the owner can't take care of the cat, you take the cat, you then care for the cat, the owner dies. And uh, maybe, maybe. You maybe. then surely should get the cat. Maybe they maybe the, they do. Why, why mess up the cat's life a bit more than... <laughs> cat's been tossed around foster parents all the time. Exactly. This is, this and is, then yeah. you've got a cat that's on the street <laughs> that's never been given a chance. Yeah, well, Next you, thing I know, some fucking <laughs> cat's mugging me at a cash point one night. <laughs> Just because the system doesn't work. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, there is a lot of... Yeah, there was a lot of paperwork that I didn't expect. There. Do you reckon, um, I'm just putting this out there now, right? If you get really attached to this cat, I am quite happy to murder the wee girl <laughs> that owns the cat. So you get the cat. Do you reckon just put her out of like... Yeah, put her out of her misery. This is for... Like a horse. This is for Fifi. You know, like a horse that's already on its straight, way out. Straight to the glue factory. Yeah, just I d- hang it up. Yeah, do horses actually make glue? Yeah, they do. I thought that was like a, a sound. I think it's the hooves. 
but you, you sure you can you not just cut the hooves off a horse? Nah, I think you need the full thing. Are they not like nails? Yeah, they grow, aye, because they need to get them clipped. But if you, but if you, you know, clip yeah, clip the horse. Then, but but I don't, I, no, I don't know which part of a horse makes glue, but I'm fairly certain. But it's, if it's the hooves, can you not just like the, the horse? You just clip, take the hooves. I just made then, that up. I've, I've absolutely no oh, idea yeah, whether yeah, it is the hooves. Uh, no. Fine, fucking false. Literally, no idea whether it is the hooves or not. But do you remember when Tesco had the horse lasagna? Yeah, good, de- good times. They were nice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see any. Pro- I've, I tasted horse in France. Oh, I have too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Like it's not the best of meat, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. I had it in Germany on a meat platter. They were like, we have all bits of meat. You yeah. Know? And they were like, here's a duck, here's a horse, here's a cow. Do you ever do a thing? Right, there was a thing, um, a restaurant. I don't know if there were. It was like a chain. There was a. There was one in Glasgow anyway. It's called Kubla Cans, right? And what you would do is, you go in there and they just have shitloads of exotic meats. Okay. Right? And you'd go up to this kind of buffet place and there'd be, you'd have like a fucking kangaroo and you'd have alligator and you'd have all this shit like yeah. ostrich and all this kind of shit, yeah. right? So you'd pick the meat and you'd, you'd, you'd take a piece of the meat with the, the pincers and then you'd cook it, but then you'd have different sauces that you could add to it and you'd have like kind of tasting suggestions over what you could have with what. The problem was, right, because you were just cooking it because you were going, mostly you were pissed anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, because it was a drinking establishment as well. And everyone was cooking it on the same fucking thing. Every single meat tasted because the same. Because it was just like, so you couldn't go, oh, fucking hell, I really noticed the difference between that yeah. ostrich <laughs> and that emu. Like, it, the emu is so much more a tender bird. Yeah, but yeah. everything tasted the fucking same. And not good either. It just tasted like tough, shite meat. Uh, have you had swordfish? No. Tastes like chicken. No, it doesn't. It does. does. It? Sword fist, sword, really? Swordfish tastes like chicken. Yeah. The DVD. <laughs> no, no. No, uh, but seriously. It's tor- good... Swordfish is not a... It's like a quite a big... Uh, it's, it's like a, a big quite a, It's like a steaky kind It's like of... when the first time... Yes, it is, yeah. It's like yeah. It's like when you see... Like, I didn't think tunas were that size. Oh, fucking massive. Like, cunty fucking... Huge things, tunas. Cunty fish. That's a whale, basically. Because you always think fucking... a tuna... Being, I always thought of tuna as being like wee sardine, yes, yeah, kind of type mackerel. things. Aye, oh no, mackerel is big enough. Mackerel, mackerel can get quite big. I don't know. I've never went fishing. I have went fishing. Eugene threw me in the lake. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> fucking hell, lock horror than golly. <laughs> I remember he was just, he just. I remember he just fucked me off the boat. I remember, I, I, I presume I had like safety thing, and then I just remember him in tears laughing. <laughs> And then I remember him getting me back on, and he had like a drumstick bar. That's all. I must have been about nine, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> What's say uh, anchovies? They're tiny wee fish as well. Have you had? Oh, uh, I don't. Th- I, that's one like when people go, "Can I have anchovies on my pizza?" I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. What's the thing that caviar? Caviar. I've never tasted caviar. No, no, I don't like it. I've actually had a fair amount of this because I used to do those YouTube videos. I've had yeah. ostrich and I've had alligator and I've had all What's that. What's that thing they do where they like force feed a goose? <laughs> <laughs> What's the fucking? It's not caviar. It's like another. You, you, you force feeding a goose? Is this like I, a saying? Like you I mean like a like a like a goosey chat? No, like an actual goose. Okay. Like, um... You force feed a goose. Is this is this going to be just like a different type of haggis? Or is it foie gras. Is that what that is? Foie gras, right? So foie gras, um, let's, foie gras is the fat liver uh, made from. <laughs> I don't uh, know what that was yeah, saying. it's the it's, it's the fat liver of a ducker goose, right? And what they basically do is, according to the French law, foie gras is defined as the liver of a duck or goose fattened by force feeding. So they fucking shove shit down the fucking goose <laughs> so that it fats up its liver. That's and so then they fuck. go, hmm. That's fucking... Foie gras. That's pretty harsh. In terms of animal cruelty, I feel like... Yeah. I'd fucking think, God damn, stopped. I think it's... Uh, uh, it seems to... Because uh, the first thing... Oh, Christ. The first... Uh, the first thing that comes up is Peter. Cruelty yeah. to ducks and geese. Okay. Force feeding animals against the law in many countries, including Israel. Well, oh, oh. It's the only thing that is against the law. <laughs> uh, Germany, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Fuck's sake. Not in France, though. So. Fucking. 
Did I already say France? No. No. Um, India has banned it as well. Fucking force feeding a goose and then eating its liver is pretty fucked up. Well, it's mental. Yeah. I've heard of that shit before. I've never had it. But, but it's not like a... It, it's one of those things you expect rich people to do. Aye. aye. Mm. Did yeah. you see a story this week? Um, there was a thing that was cutting about uh, Twitter. And it was like, this is when you know you've got too much money. And it was an extract from Elton John's autobiography where he woke up after. Like, you know when you wake up, like I've woke up after stag do's and you go, fucking hell, I don't even want to check my bank done? account. And yeah, yeah. So he woke up after like a three-day coke binge, right? <laughs> Had emails because he'd bought a tram, right? He'd bought a fucking... How the fuck would he even buy it? American tram, right? And there was emails from different shipping companies <laughs> because they couldn't ship it. It basically had to get flown by helicopter across the sea to his house. That's amazing. I was like, that is fucking class. Oh, fuck's oh. sake. Uh, oh, I was about to go, we have to apologise again because... Yeah. Kai has taken again both cameras and there's we've put, put up one of these small cameras and it just seems to be like... After every 15 yeah. minutes, the video dies. So. It'll, film, it'll film for 15 minutes, and then we need to keep an eye on the red light. And then I have to go, oh, uh, fuck's sake, yeah. and then run so, up and touch the button. And again, apologies anyway. for that. And I know we promised that <laughs> things would get back to normal. Um, they won't, because <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to altitude next week. So we are going to have to do next week's film over the internet, over It wasn't too Wi-Fi. bad, in fairness, the last, Again, the last few. But, but yeah. I'm going to try and find a way that I'm going to film it in the Alps so that I can turn the, the camera around, I can turn the, the webcam you, around, and you can see the Alps. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to try. That, and that, that's fucking good. I don't know whether the Wi-Fi will be good enough up the mountain. I'll try. Ooh, yeah, I'll try yeah. it for a couple of days beforehand. Yeah, yeah, okay. I run wish it, I'd known about it. that, and I'd have picked, I'd have picked like a fucking, I'd have picked cliffhanger, or something like that, or a snow film. Vertigo. Vertigo. No, it's not anything to do with snow. <laughs> it's all to do with it. Vertigo. The Alfred Hitchcock <laughs> film Vertigo. Oh yeah, that's that. Let's get fuck all to do what, with what snow. What am I thinking of then? Touching the void. Touching the void. Yeah, that's a documentary though. It's no, it's film. not the one. Then it's a movie. Oh, what what's the one way? It's it's right. I, I know who's in it. Uh, what do you call the shitty Robin dude? Oh, Chris O'Donnell. Chris, o- I know exactly what film you're talking about, but I can't remember what it's called. Ah, it is a shite. Ver- uh, is it yeah. Vertical Limit? Vertical Limit is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is Vertical Limit. Top yeah. fucking corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is pish, that film. Yeah, Cliffhanger's so. fucking great. Yeah, I remember Cliffhanger. It's, that's your man. That's always usually fun, but he was a real bad guy in it. He's in Daddy's Home too. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> John Lithgow. John yeah. Lithgow. John Lynn Lithgow. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a guy. He's like, uh, he's a dad in Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Shit, never mm. watched that shit. Mm. Fuck that. Is um, that about aliens? Who cares? Before, uh, before we start, um, uh, thank you, any absolute cuts people that came to the... Uh, at the Glasgow Kings show yeah. on Friday. It was a, It was a lot of fun. And uh, we had, we went to karaoke oh afterwards. My God. What so song f- was it? Because there well, was a song where you and Elaine Malcolmson. Oh, was was it zombie? It was zombie. Yeah, we did two. We actually did two cranberry songs. We had you dreams did, as well. Yeah, but then you did Angel <laughs> by Shaggy, and you dedicated to Martin McGinnis. <laughs> I mean, Jerry Adams would have been even would have made more sense. If it wasn't me, but <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> hey, great time in that karaoke booth, I must say. That was so much fun. That was like very it. fun. We couldn't get the fucking thing to work, and everything was in Chinese. Oh, it was in a Jetting's casino. Yeah, because I I think it was because it was like a a Chinese system. You had to be on it, like you had to have. You had to have songs lined up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then if your it. song ran out, if you took your eye off the ball, it would just immediately revert back to Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you had some fucking, like, boy yeah. band, like, K-pop thing going on. You're like, yeah, what? yeah. People running through the yeah. walls in their bedroom. Remember, I, I put on Rock and Roll Star, and it was a, it was a Chinese <laughs> cover band doing it. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Big fan. Uh, right. 
Uh, this week's film uh, is Ryan's choice. Yes. Uh, it's Donnie Darko. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. I was going to ask you to summarize this film. I don't think that's a good idea. All right, I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a bash. Right, because I I'd said this to you today that I I assumed I had seen this film. Yes, and then I watched it and went, I've never seen this film at all, and I don't know what it was. I think it I think I dismissed it. I thought it was something. I thought it was a different film. Yes, um, I loved it. Like I think it is fucking incredible. Great. I adored this film. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think I I think I dismissed it because like we were talking with Danny beforehand that. It was a very emo like, fucking nerdy type. I remember it Wanks being the first... loved it. I did think... I remember it being the first when you were a kid, the first arty film that kids liked. Yeah. I think that's why I dismissed it and just went, that's mm. not for me. I didn't. I only liked it because I was... I remember seeing it when, when it came out, so I was about 11, 12. I watched it when I was 12, and I fancied the main girl. And... The main girl? Yeah. When I was 12. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Not fucking Maggie Gyllenhaal. The one that... Gretchen. Uh, Gretchen. Gretchen. That weird fucking name. It's a name. She, so, by the way, we'll get into that, but it's, it's a fake name as well. She she chose it. Yeah, she chose it, yeah. yeah. Oh, change your name to fucking Gretchen. But that's that's like a fairly popular name in the, in the States. It's Gretchen. A it's a name. weird, stupid name. Fucking stupid name. What would, what, what would you call your fake name if you were on the run around witness protection? Um... I would go uh, big. <laughs> I uh, Randy Burst. Big, <laughs> big Daddy Blues. <laughs> big Daddy Blues. You reckon? Fairly certain I'd keep under the radar with that kind of name. Randy Giblets. <laughs> we can't. We can't call you that, sir. You need to blend in with society. You can't just be called Randy Giblets. People are going to ask questions. You'll be found so easy. <laughs> All right, Horace the Hoof. <laughs> you can't put any of that. There's no that. <laughs> you can't have that as oh, a double barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Obelix Masterson. <laughs> oh, fuck on Obelix. We keep Masterson. What about Gavin? <laughs> Gavin Choo Choo? Um, yeah, yeah. She got she changed her name in the film because her stepdad stabbed her mom, and the stepdad was still trying to find her yeah. or some shit. And then there's, there's hints I, that the stepdad murders the mum at the end. Yes, yes, there is. Uh, if you want to, my, my most basic, th this is a very convoluted film. My basic rundown is <laughs> a dude uh, is sitting in his bed and uh, he gets starts getting dreams. Mm -hmm. he, he's going a little bit mental. He's got mental problems. He leaves his, he gets a vision uh, of one of the dreams. He leaves uh an airplane engine falls through his uh, uh, his fucking bedroom, mm -hmm. smashes into it. Uh, weird stuff starts happening. He starts trying to figure out. He starts. Well, he sees a mad old woman. He starts chatting about time control. Time yeah. fucking. <laughs> no, I am lost in already. That's terrible. Basically, then uh, he finds out that the 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 fucking thing came through a time portal. It was his own parents that were on uh, his parent and his daughter. <laughs> his his, 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 the his worst. Parents. And he the came through the time portal. I saw this for the first time today. I've seen and this, I can I've describe it. Jesus better. Christ. I've seen this film like 10 times as well. Yeah. There's a kid. He's got, he's got mental health problems. He's probably got schizophrenia. He has been getting visions of a six foot rabbit called Frank. Frank keeps telling him that the, the world is going to end in 28 days. Oh yeah, this one. He also days sleeps. Donnie Darko is the main character. He sleeps, walks. Um, one night when he's out sleepwalking, he returns back home the next day and finds an airplane jet engine has fallen through his house in his bedroom and would have killed him. He then gets told various tasks and various instructions from Frank to do things that will prevent the end of the world. He then finds out that Frank is from another dimension and there is a time travel involved. And then at the end, he manages to save the world by sacrificing himself. He does, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Cause if Gretchen also didn't die. Gretchen, yeah, Gretchen. But we should probably take it 
because it is a very very confusing. Yeah, do you know what? You know what the problem is? It, this film I always remembered because you 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 get it at the very end about the thing and everything fell through the portal and that's why he had to sacrifice himself mm -hmm. so that this and he had to die essentially mm -hmm. or you know whatever this blah blah blah. But when you when you first when you know that then you go into the film the next time you watch it knowing that and then things get more confusing for some ah, reason you end yeah. up what happens is then you watch it again you go wait a minute was i wrong with the first thing and then, and then yeah, 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 yeah 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 it's a very very confusing i remember loving very the soundtrack confusing film. the site well, wrote like let's start that the soundtrack is incredible yeah, yeah it always utterly was utterly incredible because i remember it's the first time i heard echo and the bunny man i didn't See, really like them but that's that that Opening scene with Kelly, the Killing Moon. That's one of my favorite songs. Ah, it's I a belter. I fucking love yeah, that yeah. song. And then it's got that. It's got a. Uh, it's got the. Uh, it's got Duran Duran through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's got Joy Division. Yeah, obviously. Good old Joy Division. Um, Perfect for it. Yeah, and then it's got the. Do you remember Mad World being number one? Yeah, because in of this, this country. Was it? Yeah, because no. of this film. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, like no, I was about twelve, but I do remember. I know that Mad World because if you downloaded it, it would say it in brackets, Donny Darko. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, I got yeah. it on LimeWire and shit. But it was fucking it, like genuinely mental because that was like in the kind of that was the period of um, reality TV shows had started. So like X, I don't think X Factor certainly hadn't come along, but pop stars, yeah, pop, yeah, 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 pop idol had come along, yeah, yeah, and they were like for years they were the standard Christmas number one, and then there was the Rage Against the Machine year, yeah, the Killing and the Name became number one, and then this was number one, and I remember like there being fucking uproar. In the papers about this being number one because people were going, "How you got, hey, Christmas number one? It used to be, it used to be a uh, fucking wholesome guys like Gary Glitter and stuff like that. They used to be Christmas number one, and now you've got a guy singing a line go, the, the the best times I ever had was when I was the best dreams I ever had was when I was dying. What what is this? How how can this be Christmas number one? Great, a uh, a great outrage. It's a fucking great song. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's a belter song. Yeah, it's perfect for this as well. I don't like. think I've ever heard the Tears for Fear version. I don't. Oh no, no, no! Fuck I that. might listen to that on the way home. Actually. I kept it. It's not. Who is it that sings it? Tears for Fears. No, the this version. Oh, Gary, um, Gary, it's, Gary Jules, Gary, Gary Jules, and Michael Andrews. I think. Oh, is the fucking I, for yeah, it. right. Because it's Gary Jules. Because I used to keep thinking it was Gary Newman. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it definitely isn't no. Gary Newman. But I can see how you say that because he was an eighties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Like, oh, you're Gary Newman, Mad World. By the fucking the soundtrack's awesome. Yeah, man. yeah, absolute belter. I remember, I remember it was a great one for that. Uh, uh, acting's all brilliant, brilliant cast as well. It's a cool, a bizarre cast in a good way. Yeah, Gyllenhaal, um, because I really, really like Jake Gyllenhaal. He, I, I was, I was genuinely taken aback by how young. He is. He actually yeah. is in this film. It's because you watched Roadhouse recently. Uh, yeah, I did. I watched Roadhouse the day before. That's and such I was a bizarre. Like, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! Like he looks like he looks like a wee boy. Yeah, yeah. And Maggie Gyllenhaal can't be that much older than him. No, definitely. In this, and she looks young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Swayze's odd. in it. It's odd seeing like. like a brother, brother and sister acting as brother and sister. Yeah, 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 Odd. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Swayze, what a, a weird casting. Swayze, know great, like, another Roadhouse. Like, I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, aye, we'll talk about the Swayze thing later on because that's a fucking... <laughs> that's a, <laughs> a mental... Well, idea. there's great, right. But uh, I have my theory about... The, uh, uh, this film made me open my mind a little bit in many ways, right? <laughs> I'll tell you now. My theory is that, do you remember the Malaysian airline yeah. that went missing? That went through a black hole. Right. Yeah. And wiped out the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> There's low, this, I reckon this black, put it like this, like for the, the Baltimore bridge that collapsed this week. Yeah. That was the Mary Celeste. <laughs> what, the, 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 the ship just appeared? It just, it went through a black hole. That was in the ocean, do you know? Nine Eleven, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how they know. They don't know any. That's why they have no idea who actually did it. They're like, they <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. 
<laughs> Fuck, I was going to say something, then, but I can't remember. What <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, yeah. Um, the... Okay, it, it starts off... here. Here's the only, like, one very, very quick nitpicking thing I have. Okay. With it. And I think it's the only thing that I remember from the film where I went, ah, wait a minute. See, at the start... Yeah. So he keeps waking up because he's been sleepwalking. Yeah. But the start... He wakes up on top of a hill with his bike beside him. Ye- oh, okay. So, is it possible to sleep cycle? Yeah, definitely not. You'd think that. You'd have to be in a trance. So, did he, I- did he walk the bike up? And if so, what's the point? Yeah. 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 You- every other time he wakes up, he's just there. He's obviously walked it. When he wakes up in the golf you can't course, sleep. he's obviously you can't sleep cycle. You can't. It's, it must it's be a, impossible. Unless, he, unless they're kind of saying he is very, he's more in a trance than a yeah. sleep. But I still don't think you would be able to. Have you ever slept walked in your life? No, I don't think so. No, no, I didn't, no. I, don't, I remember my cousin went then once and pissed all over the place. When really? We sleeping, it was very funny. I bet is that not just, is that not just a drunk? Because I know, I know. No, no, was... no, he was like 10. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he was like 10. We were like, that's not the toilet. You just pissed on all those clothes in the, Fuck. in the wardrobe. My dad used to do it, apparently. Okay. Oh, aye. My dad, my, I, I've heard stories about, like, my dad, like, I think it was on their honeymoon, my mum and dad's honeymoon. My dad, like, fucking shaking my mum awake, and he was, like, in a proper trance, trying to get her to jump out the window because he, he, he was convinced the fucking room was on fire and shit <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's... Doesn't seem like a fucking goddamn normal. He thought the yeah. room was on fire. He thought he thought he thought wherever they were staying at the hotel, he thought it was on fire. And he's like, ah, "Fucking come on, Linda, get the, get the, the fucking room's on fire." And he was just, and I don't think he does it anymore. Like That's so good. He was cured. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. Did so he die thing, in the fire in his dream? And that, that means thing it's that over? war has that sleep paralysis. Oh, thing. I used to get that. Yeah, yeah. I've, so only, that, I've only got I've only got it about. I had one a terrible one. Like, I used to get night terrors a lot. Ah, yes, like, ah, real ah, bad ah. night terrors, right? Uh, but a couple of them, they do get into sleep paralysis. I've had a bit of sleep paralysis about four or five times in my life. Horrific. Mm. Absolutely mm. trapped. But you're like, I had one word. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Don't ask me. This was my dream. Uh, I had one where I was at, I was in, I was in university and I was trying to sleep and I, there was a, a, a you know what I'm, Japanese trees, the uh, blossom. Bonsai. No, not a bonsai tree. You don't, you know, because there was a kid hanging off it. Oh, the cherry blossom thing. Cherry blossom. Yeah. And there was an Asian kid being hung off it. And I was staring at it, and this, the kid was staring at me. And I couldn't move. Uh, but also I knew I was awake because I could hear I could hear Snow Patrol run playing. What the, the fuck? There was like in the party next door, so I could hear Snow Patrol run, try and wake myself up because I, I used to be able to lucid dream. And when I lucid dream, I could wake myself up at any time. Jesus. But I couldn't wake up with that. And then I was trapped with this fucking Asian kid being hung fucking on a chair. Fucking hell, man. No idea what happened. I woke up going, what the fuck? Eventually, when I went up, I was, what the, where was that come from? I was like, I was like, what movies were I watching recently that even got that into my head? Or, Christ almighty. Oh, it uh, one stuck with me. Couldn't move, though. That, that pinned... Because, you know, like in old age times, they thought it was a demon sitting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's it. that's the thing. Like, I was talked, was told me about it. Like, it is, the, the, that's like the common one. There's like a wee demon at the end of the bed. And I've like, never seen that. Yeah, mine was paralysis, but I never, I've never had the black shadow or the I, thing sitting. Uh, you know, the only time, you see, the only time I ever had something similar, right, was, and this is very, very obviously drug induced. Mm-hmm. It was when, when the Stone Roses played um, Glasgow Green, right? Okay. So, like, the Stone Roses Glasgow Green, like, 89 concert is, like, considered, like... It was the week, or the week, two weeks or something before Spike Island. Yeah. And it's widely regarded as being, like, this fucking seminal, seminal gig in Scotland. Yeah. So when they were doing it again, me and my pals were like, ah, well fucking hell we know we were far too well, it was only eight when that was on so yeah, yeah let's just let's just treat it like we were going to see them if we were teenagers yeah yeah then so we get i mean we get fucking ridiculously fucked like unbelievable and i think we'd like the ecstasy we'd taken in that day i remember i remember me and my pal 
Dave, just like during a song, just we caught eyes, and for an entire song, we just kept going, right? And um, as we were leaving Glasgow Green, I remember I, it's one of the only times I've ever shit myself. Like as I was leaving, we were getting in a taxi, and I just fucking, I just let rip, and it just shit. Oh, oh I was you like, actually oh, shit yourself. I, I thought like, you meant like scared. No, no, no. I was like, oh no, and I kept it quiet. Because I knew I was going back to Dave's house. So I was like, once I get back there, I'll just fucking clean myself up. All I need to do is try and make make <laughs> sure they're not going to have a fucking clue. The taxi driver might be a bit. Yeah, Why yeah. is it stinking shit in here? So, so you, eventually... You, did you try and, like, get in ahead of him? What is your, what is your Uber <laughs> stinking fucking shit? <laughs> You're sitting in the back of <laughs> We try to pull here. <laughs> <laughs> hope we're getting money off for that. <laughs> Place of fucking disgrace. The guy's like, just, just he's, you can feel the car breaking. He's like, it's clearly you. <laughs> we all know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, carry on, mate. <laughs> so I remember we went back and then um, we went back there. And I, by this point, I blacked out beyond belief. <laughs> and I remember coming to at like a kitchen table. <laughs> we just. <laughs> people around me, right? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I've not even bothered cleaning myself up, right? Oh, I'm just no. like that. Fuck, I've been sitting in this conversation <laughs> for two hours and I don't have a fucking clue what has gone on in the past two hours. So I managed to take my, make myself, take myself home and I got in, <laughs> but I, I swear the fucking Eki stayed in my system for a good three days and see the sleep I had the next <laughs> night. I, I remember, like, you know those yips you get? Yeah. Where you go, like, uh, 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 and you think, you, you think your fucking heart's stopping. Yeah, yeah. I was having them, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. And then I'm, I'm Googling, like, how long does ecstasy take to come out of your system? <laughs> I fell asleep that night, and I, I, I felt like I'd been, I, I felt like I was in a, a mental institution. Yeah. And somebody had strapped me down. <laughs> And like, but wait, like fucking binds. Okay. And like, and I, but I couldn't. I physically couldn't get up, but I was awake. Oh no! Okay. And I physically, okay. I physically couldn't. Okay, but but that's probably it. That's probably that's pretty much what we're talking about. I, but that's the only time I've had it. But oh, that okay. was that was brought on by the yeah. You you you're it. It was your fault. By fault. the ecstasy. It was your <laughs> fault. Like, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like woe is me with my night terror. Or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't know. I must have watched something. I must have watched some sort of kung fu movie, <laughs> and it really stuck to me. Um, do you not think, by the way, if you woke up, you said you woke up in that party, and there was pair of people around you. Yeah. Do, you. do you reckon, like, if you got like footage of that night? That you missed people you're sitting there chatting about like 9 11s conspiracies you know and they're just like that's great but do you realize you're covered in shit <laughs> you think you're hiding it like, you stink <laughs> of shit we had to pay a soil in charge to the uber you got out of because the guy was like <laughs> i've scratched my ass at one point <laughs> oh god jesus you shit all over your face <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with Fucks you? Fucks in these drinks. <laughs> <laughs> your, hand cover, your hand in the glass smeared as shit. Just over the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, has Bobby Sands been in here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, right, you, you mentioned something there about the bike on the hill, right? Yeah. Back to the fucking film here. Uh, how come, uh, this is an American thing in American movies, they do not, they don't park their bikes. I hate that in every fucking American movie. They just drop them. They just fucking like leap off them before it's yeah. stopped. Leave it in the middle of the road. They all like a bike gang of kids. Stranger yeah. Things are cunts for it. Yeah. Stand by me, the Goonies. Uh, the, they do. The that, yeah. That's they, a good point. Actually. They just fuck their bikes in the middle of the road and walk yeah. on there. Oh, they're like, oh, dinner's ready. And they just fucking leap off yeah. it and the thing crashes into the... But then they've not got that good bikes. They've just got like your standard BMX. So it's yeah, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Congrats. what? But that's what... What would you... Would you park it in like one of those wee no, no, two wire I things like a fucking that. I wouldn't like a do. nerd? I tell you, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't chuck it on the floor. But but 
bike theft wouldn't be a thing back then. It's not even the bike theft issue because half the time I just lean it against the wall. You'd still steal the fucking thing. My point is they're just like, oh shit, look, oh, oh they just or neighbor the Harrison's guy. coming, they just go fucking leap off it, Aye, and, like, they're, and they're all you know, hear the bike sliding along the grass or carefree kids. They fucking, I, I get that's what they're trying to do, carefree. But really, I'm looking at it going fucking pick up your bike. I think, see, I think anyone that locks up a bike is a fucking bell end. And what nowadays? Yeah, I think if you, Any? I think if you own a bike, I own a bike that you. is worth stealing, then you're a fucking bell end. Okay, right, mine's is definitely not worth stealing. Why? Anyone that would pay the amount of money for a bike that someone would go. That's a thing to steal. You're a wank stain. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have uncles that pay, like, Fuck five off. grand for them Fuck or off. six grand for them. You know, they're like, racing ones. Seriously. Do the Tour like, de France. You, like, if that's your... Like, but that shouldn't be your regular bike. You should have a... Like, a bike should be just a functioning piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it should. Why the fuck? It was like... See when you, see when you used to get bikes for Christmas? Yeah. Like, I remember the first year... This was before mountain bikes, because mountain bikes were at least class. Right? Okay. This was when rally racers. Um, I used to have a rally racer. There was like fucking people going, how, much your, how many gears your bike got? Yeah, 30 yeah. 30 gears. What the fuck you need 30 gears for? <laughs> at yeah, 11 yeah. years old. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> at best, three gears. Right? I, I, an uphill gear. A yeah. fast as fuck downhill gear, yeah, and yeah. then a rest of the time gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, literally yeah. all three gears. Need. Yeah, three gears. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I can deal with five. I, even that's too many. I, I know, but I can still deal with. Like I wouldn't. Oh, complain. you can deal with it. I, cause, but, yeah, because I used to. You know, you know, what I fucking hate because I used. To, I still have them, and then you know, the old fashioned fuckers that penny farthing. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know the ones where the, the the gears are down low. You have to put. Oh, well, you have out. to, yeah. Like from the eighties, no, they're yeah, flipping yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah. They're they're wild. Yeah, I used to have a bike. Uh, Not um, your modern clicky ones up there. No, nah, yeah, yeah, no. I had this bike, a real old one in Dublin, and and do you know what? The brakes weren't attached to the, the where you hold the. I had to hold the, the brake against the thing because it it wasn't attached to the bar. You had to so, hold the brake against the wheel. <laughs> against against the, the handlebars. I'd even hold the brake onto the handlebars. Otherwise, otherwise, and it happened a few That's times. That's what you always have to do. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is the brake wasn't attached to the bar. <laughs> so, oh, right. So, so, oh, so, for fuck's sake. So what happened to me a few times was I would let it drop, and the bike, the bike, the brake would fly into the front wheel, jam on the front wheel, and I'd... Sh- so the brake was just, <laughs> like, pissing about yeah, loose yeah, like yeah. one of the guys outside a car dealership. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I, I mean, Right under my front wheel, and I front flipped a few times. I nearly got hit. I, I front flipped in front of a Lewis, you know, like the trams in Dublin. Mm-hmm. I remember somebody run out going, "What the fuck? What happened there?" Jesus! And I was like, "Oh, it's, it's my fault." You know, I didn't get the brakes fixed because you driving around with your brakes not attached to the <laughs> handlebar. They were looking at me like it's mental. No wonder you, you know, <laughs> man. I know I'm not brain damaged. This look at look at my fucking head right now. <laughs> oh God. Do you, uh, do you know the another thing as well? The start of this movie, uh, she, she, she comes into his room and he's like, I'm reading, get out. See if I said that to my ma. Hmm. Put me through the fucking wall. Oh, I They beat um, you to death. There's a, there's a lot of... Yeah. The, I, think, I think these two parents... Well, I, do you know what? I really like Mr. Darko. He, he seems like a good he chap. Seems, he seems sound as fuck. You'd have a pint with him. See the bit where uh, Donnie Darko. I like the ma as well. I the, she's a bit. She's out. I like. Ga- I like how she sarcastically looks at people. Though, she's like, out the game most of the time though. Yeah. Like she's a she's a drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pissed most of this film. That's why I like. Her. And you can understandably because her yeah. son's son's a yeah. fucking loon ball. So is it, he's a school shooter, like. Oh, aye. That's aye, a proper school shooter. Aye. Yeah, yeah. But the dad does a bit. What's yeah. the bit where um, uh, when the 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 mental uh, teacher is yeah, trying yeah. to teach them the Swayze stuff? So we're like, because like, Swayze is like a motivational, like Andrew Tate, yeah, Jordan yeah. Peterson type. Yeah, yeah. In this, he's get like. There's only really two states for any human to be in. It's either love or fear. 
Yes. And then they have to read out certain scenarios uh, and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. is it love or is it fear? Yeah, yeah. And Donnie Darko goes like, well, you can't it's do this. neither because there's so much other stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. something about returning a wallet that you find. Yeah, exactly. It's like Bin so Laden. Much, yeah. Love. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fear. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, a cunt wasn't afraid of anything. Like, absolutely nothing. Like... So, he loved. He didn't he was, love anything. He, he loved, loved destruction. Yeah, yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. It's love. <laughs> you don't get that done unless you love what you're doing. <laughs> he loved destruction and the arsenal. That's what he loved. <laughs> um, um, yeah. But then when when he says like uh, that the principles going um, and what was it? What was it? Donnie said. Do you know? Do you know what Donnie said? And then the te- you don't even know the teachers in the room. And she's like, I'll tell you what he said. He told me, he told me to stick the card up my anus. And the dad pisses himself. And yeah. I'm like, that's that, yeah, class dude. Did you know my WhatsApp? You know, you could have WhatsApp like statuses. Mm-hmm. Do you know for like a good 10 years, my status was a Donnie Darko code? Was it? Yeah. It like sometimes I doubt your, sometimes I doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. Oh, it, it was always it? underneath. It would be right. Now it's currently bald. Yeah. It just says bald, but for like at least 10 years. It, it used to, yeah, it was, uh, sometimes I doubt your commitment to spark emotion. Then it changed to the Big Beat Manifesto, which is Peep Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And now uh, it's bald. But yeah, I, I was like, I loved this film when I was a kid. Sparkle Motion, one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen. Yeah. For, uh, <laughs> that old woman is such a funny actress. For um, I was going to mention the, the Sparkle Motion scene yeah right that's another class so in notorious by Duran no, Duran no. yeah which up until I heard this I didn't know the bit in the uh, Biggie song notorious yeah yeah I didn't know that was taken from the yeah yeah I didn't I had no idea about that yeah yeah um so they're in the so Donnie Darko's wee sister she's in the the High school dance. Sparkle motion. Sparkle, mo- sparkle motion, yeah. Now, this reminded me, right? Um, Isla used to be in this wee dance class. Well, right? All right, what were they called? And it's, I have no fucking idea, but it wasn't like, they, were, they weren't like a troupe. Okay. It was just a thing you took her along to when she was, but she was like three or four, right? And yeah. And take her along to this thing in a local school hall every Saturday, right? Okay. Now, the teacher, right, she could have been, she could have been 21, she could have been 61. Yeah. I have no fucking One idea, line. right? She had had so much work done okay, and right. had yeah, yeah. so fake a tan and wore, she always wore like a, a crop top kind of thing, but pushed her fake tits up. Right, but it was like it was always in camouflage. So she she looked like like if the A team had a whore, right? That's what she looked like, right? Camouflage. So right. she pushed up like and then one of them like, I don't want you to see them, but I yeah, do. Yes. And again, nobody had a fucking clue what age she was. Okay. Worked to fuck, right? Thick as men. Yeah, yeah. Right. But was all in a dance. And you could tell she had that cl- that classic thing of like she'd obviously wanted to be a dancer. But had failed. Yes. And now was living her life through. It's like you yeah. get it with football coaches. As yeah, well, right? yeah, yeah. So they went to this thing <clears throat> and they used to do various dances. And I remember, like, some of the tunes you would hear, like, they'd be like flying with it wings, <laughs> like, fucking okay. boys on a Westlife or whatever it was. And that, the Josh Groban, you raise me up. Right. That used to be a thing that they would do, right? For their end of dance thing, they were doing. Um, <laughs> Grease Lightning, right? My God. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard the uncut version of Grease Lightning, right? Because Grease is quite a, an adult film. Okay. Like, yeah. it's a fairly kids-friendly film, but there's a lot of adult shit in Grease, right? Yeah, yeah. Grease Lightning in particular is an entire song about a load of guys getting their car ready so they can go out and pump women, Right? So some okay. of the words in it, they talk about like making a woman cream. They they call it a pussy wagon, oh, right? right? Okay. So most of the time, whenever it is played on like kids' TV or on family friendly TV, they will use the censored version, right? This fucking renegade did not. 
right? <clears throat> so, comes the day where there's a, a show, right? This is the end of term. And it's not like, a, it's not, because they're, they're fucking three years old. They're dog shit at dancing. Like, yeah. it's a fucking chore going to watch this shit. But um, we go along and they're all doing this, right? And they start. And for some reason, she's choreographed these moves alongside this song about getting a car ready to pump women, right? So every single time, right? So suddenly you've got a troop of three-year-olds all doing this, oh, right? No. And fucking like that, right? And at one point, me and another dad look at each other and go, what the fuck is going on here? Because you you know, like, one of them's your kids, but you're like, I don't know if I'm allowed to watch Yeah, this because yeah, yeah. Th- there's three and four-year-olds gyrating <laughs> in D- leggings DJ. here in front of us. And it, it was the most bizarre fucking situation I've ever been in. Jesus Christ. Did you, did you, you were like, I might get, I might stop this. Did it, you just stand up and go, no. I mean, she never went back Okay. after yeah. that. You were mm. just like, this is this is too much. Yeah, this is yeah, fucking yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, you whore it up. Yeah. They, they they did it a wee bit in this too. You're like, because I find all of those creepy, like they, you know, like the pageants. They're really into pageants. Oh right? yeah, in America, yeah, like, in America, yeah, yeah. And I feel like this is basically just a step off it. Oh, I mean, you've got an eight year old with a full face of makeup. Yeah, aye. and like, aye, aye, it's weird. Yeah, you're like, hey, what are you doing here? Aye, you think this is going? This isn't going to fucking. <laughs> this isn't going to damage this child profusely. Profusely. <laughs> um, your friends they farting on her face. Your friends they fart in her face when she's asleep. He does, aye. We've all been there. There's a couple of weird things. Did you notice at the start? Do you know when they first, <laughs> when you first get into the high school? Y- yeah. And there's the two bully, the two the two lads that are bully. There's one of them, Seth Rogen. Yeah, I I f- really young Seth. I forgot Rogen. that this was Seth Rogen's very first. Film. Yeah. Yeah, her very first thing in. Yeah. Those two lads are tanning coke. <laughs> Amazing! I couldn't believe I, it. I, I was like, I, I've never seen, I, like, I've never even heard of it in our school. As much as our school was rough, I've never heard of them tanning coke. It didn't look that much of a, like a rough school, but like, uh, you would never in the school hall by the lockers. <laughs> one guy just holds it up and he just goes, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And do, do you know, like, I don't even think it'd be a good thing to do at school. No, you'd be sitting there going, like, you'd be in chemistry first of all, going, yeah, I know all this. <laughs> Or do you know, interrupting the teacher going like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> so like, are you okay there, Chris? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the time I was a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Should I interrupt you, but I, I love this class. <laughs> John is face <laughs> up. Um, I... Is anybody else not hungry? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not struggling to get an erection here because uh, <laughs> tell you what, I've been trying for ages and fucking hell. <laughs> oh, god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh. Why are you saying this out loud? Um, because I was quite, I normally hate. See, because this is a proper coming of age type of, I loved the, the the feeling of this film. It felt like a proper John Hughes, yeah, it does, yeah, yeah, Goonies, yeah, 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 Stand by Me kind of film. But I, I know I like coming of age films. I hate, I've always hated that um, teenage angst shit. Okay, I don't. You yeah. know that kind of fucking oh, nobody understands me. Yeah, like, I fucking hate that. Because I don't think I was ever really like that as a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people that were, but not that many because... Yeah, I think this one skipped that for me only because only because he was genuinely... <laughs> like, he's seen a six-foot rabbit. Mm, mm. So, like, you know, if he wasn't seeing that and you're like, all right, come on, like, you know, you're getting this thing. And this one, you're like, okay, this guy's... He's actually treated like that person, but other time you know, he is seeing a oh he terrifying legit- he legitimately has a thing to yeah, say nobody yeah. understands me because I can essentially see other universes here. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't Google something because I felt like it would thing, but I think I've caught I've caught someone in this film that's been in another film. 
Frank, mm -hmm. the kid, mm -hmm. the, you know, like the, the guy that got shot. The actual Frank, yeah. Yeah, the actor. Is he Randy Quaid's son in the yes. Independence Day? Yes, he is. Is it? I think so. Like that. Oh, I can't, I can't, that I, 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 I was sitting there going like I wanted to bring in the thing because I couldn't be arsed. I think it would ruin the surprise. Yeah, Frank. Right. That I was like, is that the kid? The inexplicable. Like if this, this will be a hell of a shoot if it is. Right. It, I feel like that. Yeah. I, I, I looked and I like, it has to be. It looks exactly like, like him. James Duval. James yes, Duval. Plays him. I mean, it's looking. I, I, it's I, looking I, fucking good here. Frank was. But it's just the age. There was still like seven years. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Top bins. It fucking is. Top fucking bins. Oh. A fucking. Yes. Amazing. Thank God it was. Be like, Amazing. I know. No, Ryan, that was not. That was another. That was not the right. It was race. another Asian American. Uh, yeah. yeah. But a bit of, bit of Asian hate in this film, by the way. <laughs> Remember, they're like being rude to that Samoan kind of looking woman. They kept going like, back to China, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. She takes a lot of shit in this. Yeah, yeah. Go back to, I was like, I closed my eyes and I was like, that's basically Nelson right there. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You're racist. <laughs> nah, but I, there, she takes a load of shit. Yeah. But it never really, like, <laughs> there's no real arc. The only arc is basically at one stage, like, things will get better to you. And then she just, she said, her only words are shut up. Yeah. She says shut up 14 times and runs away. There's a lot of... Um, so, right. A couple of things. Before we hmm. get into... Before, because we're, we're, we're running out of time. Because we didn't want this one to be too long. But there's a lot... Before we get into what <laughs> what you th what I think and what you think the f what actually happens in the film. Okay, right. right. Couple, very, very quickly, a couple of things. I've yeah. done the lads doing coke in the school hall. Yeah. Um, I, well, well, I'll probably have some of these too, so it'll be okay. good to do. Um, yeah. Film facts. Oh. The film, uh, so the guy, that, the guy that made it, the guy that directed it and wrote it, wrote it in 28 days. Okay. It was filmed in 28 days, and it's the time period oh, the of the entire film. Yeah. And they're watching 28 Days Later on the TV? Yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, this is cool. Do you know why this film didn't succeed at the box office? Why? It was released the week of 9 11. Oh, oh, God. Oh, and all about an airplane. Yep. Oh, well, they, they must have been sat there. <laughs> that director watching 9 11 going, oh, sweet. Yeah. Friend. I mean, that's of, why United of, 93 didn't do well either. <laughs> Of all the weeks to have your That's film, so... your debut film released, even if it wasn't yeah, just about a fucking plane crash, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody's going to this. Nobody's going to the cinema. Yeah, yeah. That week. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, there's no real point in watching when there's a disaster yeah. thing in IMAX. Basically, it was right, also so. it was also fucked because of the Columbine as well. Because Columbine was only Jesus two months, two years. Sorry. So they had a Columbine before and nine eleven before that, and then really obviously touches was, both. Yeah, because there's the seat like he brings a gun to the school and like all that kind of shit. And J J oh, fucking Drew! I could, I did not remember Drew Barrymore being in this. Really. What the fuck was that about? I've seen this like ten times. Like even when I've known, she's not great in it. Drew Barrymore's not a good actress. Yeah, I, I, I think I've told you about this before. I have like an irrational hatred of Drew Barrymore. <laughs> like it was, always, I read, it was. I did say it because I, it was Macaulay Culkin mm -hmm. when I was a kid, and then it turned into Drew Barrymore. Not so bad anymore. She seems good crack, unlike her chat show yeah. and shit like that. Uh, but when I was teenage times, that's probably why I just blanked her out. It was like fucking John Hamm and Black Mirror. She was just a grey blob, a blocker. <laughs> you ever seen the, the soft porn she did? No. Poison Ivy. It was one of those Channel 5. Remember when Channel 5 used to uh, show yeah, on really, Friday I'm, nights? I remember like, Channel 5. Proper wank fest. Yeah, footballers' like, wives. A woman scorned and all that kind of <laughs> shit, right? Just to rip the heat up. At my it, was, it was footballers' wives when I was like a kid yeah we were just like yeah the first time you'd see tits yeah like, yeah 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 what's going on there's a film poison ivy and uh she's like i think she's like a, a like a, a 
a student that comes to live with a family and then ends mm. up pumping all the family. <laughs> God. But she she gets shagged on a on the the hood of a car in a rainstorm by a uh, Chris Christopherson. No, <laughs> no, is it Chris Christopherson? No, it's not Chris Christopherson. He's whoever a- whoever plays Merlin in Top Gun. Tom Skerritt. That's <laughs> a good, good shit. Tom Skerritt. I don't even know if it's Merlin he plays. No, I don't think it is Merlin. <laughs> yeah. The main, the main instructor yeah. in Top Gun, Tom Skerritt. Nice. Pumps her with his big moustache. <laughs> his big grey moustache. Right. In a rainstorm. She's wearing leathers. God, I remember it like it was yesterday when I first watched this scene. <laughs> uh, Drew Barrymore in... I thought, imagine, it'd be really fucked if you were just like, not remember an E.T. <laughs> I absolutely reeled an E.T. <laughs> what? I'm like, are you sure we watched the same one? <laughs> Some dude with a big E.T. costume, like cock uh, hanging over. Um, um, but oh, she, she does the most mental thing. Sit, she, remember she, Gretchen comes in. For her first day in school. Oh, yeah, that's weird, yeah. Sit by the guy. <laughs> sit by the guy you fancy the most. That, and she would be sacked immediately for yeah. that. Imagine she, went into your she first... makes another lassie move. <laughs> 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 Munters up the back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a fucking seating arrangement is this? Imagine you went in and was like, hey, Nelson, could you sit beside the woman you'd most like to horse in the class? <laughs> <laughs> Sat on her desk. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you asked. It'd, it'd be great if she just went, okay, class dismissed. You stay here. <laughs> For fuck's <laughs> sake. That's so fucked. Um, the other teacher is uh, the guy from ER. Oh, I, I don't I've know never him. Se- I've never seen him in anything I've else other se- than I- ER. I see the kid that's like a, gets the kid mad into time travel and then eventually goes, Look, you're getting too far. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to lose yeah. my job. Yeah. Listen, this was a bit of a laugh, oh. but for fuck's sake. And then you see a scene they're pumping. Yeah, her, yeah, her, yeah. Her and her, you know, or they're a couple. Yeah, I know. See, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think there is time travel in this. Right. So I mean, it, I mean, it, it shows the fucking thing. Here's, no, I don't think it does. It, it does. He doesn't go back in time. No, it, no, it's an alternative he sees an alternative universe. Yes, that's my what I what I got from this. He doesn't actually go through time. He sees what happens in an alternative thing and knows what he has to do. I so my thoughts from watching it were that he was supposed to die on the day the thing fell down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now another universe has been created. Yeah. And the two universes can't coexist. And that's why the Earth is going to end. Yeah, because it's fractured. Because because the two universes are going to collide at some point. Yes. And everything that happens in the other universe happens in in a way so that he can get the message back to fix... Yes. The universes. So the likes of it's the kind of what I would get from it. That's so the likes of Frank having so Frank when he takes hot. off the the ma the rabbit mask, he's got his shot eye. Yeah. And then he shoots him at the end. So Frank so that needs to happen yeah. so that Frank goes back in the other the other universe and talks to him and then he tells him to do things that need to happen. So he has to flood the school. Yes. Or else he'll never walk home and meet Gretchen. Yes. And they'll never fall in love and start going out. He has to... He has to burn down Swayze's house. Yes. Because it, without that, the the dance won't, teacher won't go, and, won't go and defend him. Yeah. Won't and in that she won't case, she won't then take the dance troupe. They won't be on the plane. And they need the plane because... That jet engine needs to fall yes. from their plane to reset the time. Yes. Yes. That's that. I, that yes. Aye. Okay. Right. So he has to sacrifice himself. Yes. To he, save the universe and to save everyone yeah. else that has died. Everything after this thing is a fractured universe, and he keeps learning things uh-huh. as he goes, and he has to. F- yeah. 
He has to reset, basically. Aye. And then at the very end, he realizes that he has to die in that. Aye. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's what I... Yeah. That is... I think you've got... Best, so it's kind of all about, like, fate. Yeah, rather than time travel. Yeah. I suppose, like, because the reason why people think he's saying it's time travel is because he, he, he talks about time travel a lot. Yeah, because so he there's has to a lot write... of time travel stuff in it, yeah. Well, yeah, well, but my favorite part was when she hands a, hands Gretchen a book saying, the, hey, take a look at this, and it says, The Philosophy of Time Travel, yeah. and she goes, what's this? <laughs> I go, I mean, it's yeah. the fucking philosophy. <laughs> it's on the fucking... Yeah, it's the football results. <laughs> yeah, you stupid <laughs> fucking cunt. I hope you die, Gretchen. Do you know? Um, it, it, do you know what I find funny about this? It was. It says the PTA meeting, the you know, Parent Teacher Association, mm. but like the PTA back home was the Prevention of Terrorism Act, where the, <laughs> where the British Army could arrest you and put you in jail for oh, three years amazing. without trial. So, oh. so if you were done, like you know, it's just to lock up sixteen-year-olds for like three years for a laugh. That's fucking brilliant. So if you're just annoying you in the you know, the PTA, the Prevention of Terrorism Act. Uh, so it was a British Army thing in Northern Ireland. So when I was oh, like... Oh, that's class. So I was like, the PTA Association, I burst out laughing. That was like, great. Because the, the, other, the other theory that I read is literally that it's just all in his head and he is a schizophrenic. Nah. And none of this happens, but it's far too boring. Uh, nah, that's not, that's crap. There's a great, that, that's a very, very funny scene when he's therapist hypnotizes him and he starts getting horny as fuck so he's going to pull out his and pass. he's like all I, all I think about is <laughs> fucking fucking people he's like and when I'm at school all I think about is fucking people and then she goes what about your family and he was like oh no I don't think about fucking them that's disgusting and then he starts he just starts rubbing his dick can you imagine someone walked in <laughs> what the fuck's happening here because it's, no, it's a kid having a wank and things like it's a door it's a hypnotizer like what are you hypnotizing him to do <laughs> it's like no i'm just talking about his little friends at school i was like oh there's no way you'd be able to like you know <sighs> there's a lot of professionals essentially have to be uh arrested during this what do you think that right there's one other person we haven't talked about we have to talk about swayze quickly mm. but also roberta sparrow i always remember her name <laughs> grandma death grandma death <laughs> He keeps going out checking her. Do you know what I think she was looking for at the start? It's really funny if you pretend she's like, you know, she's checking her mailbox mm. and there's nothing there every day. And she, or like, not every day, every two minutes she turns yeah. around and but she, I think it's like she ordered like a dildo in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> she ordered a dildo it's in the 70s. It's never turned up Royal Mail or something. She ordered a dildo in the 70s. She's still, <laughs> even though the fucking thing would, the fucking thing would turn her into dust now though. <laughs> She turned into Ash like Thanos in the Avengers, <laughs> just like slightly. <laughs> uh, do you know how um, you know how those the wee um, the wee almost watery type arrows that come out of people's chests? Aye, and they like the path that that's they, an old fate type of thing. Yeah, aye. So that's like the path they follow, mm. and that's how he finds the gun and all that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how the guy got the idea for that? Hey. From John Madden. Really? How? Yeah. So he, he was writing the script and um, he saw John Madden would have, and it must have been like a very, very early, you know how like now if you watch like um, Sky Sports and yeah, they'll, they'll, draw the... aye, they'll have all that kind of shit. He had a thing where from players where they should be moving in the play, okay, where right. they're supposed to move. That's funny. It would it? come out like an arrow coming out like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's how he, got, he was like, oh, fucking. Smart. Yeah. Um, what do you think Roberto Sparrow Grandma Death whispered to him? <laughs> Where's my dildo? <laughs> or if, you ever seen a dildo you, about here? <laughs> did you take my fucking dildo? I'll show, I, I'm, yeah, you're looking for a rabbit, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot as well. Six foot. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, I went inches, but fair play to you. <laughs> Tell you, I see another universe as well when I use it. He is stored in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing the balls or not it's like he's like he's like <laughs> P that he's on the run <laughs> P that he's on the run You're like what oh that's right sorry it would yeah. be Puff Daddy yeah. by now <laughs> yeah, <fuck it. laughs> the foreshadowing you watch out for that P Diddy yeah <laughs> who the fuck's P Diddy <laughs> he's known as Puff Daddy you'll, about you'll now you'll find out you'll find out yeah yeah bad boy for life 
you know, uh, so we had the the next one. We definitely have to turn up. We have to. We I feel like we have to get Swayze's character down to. Yeah. Uh, because, like, I mean, he's a pedo. It's fucking mental. It's so funny. He burns down, the, he burns down his house, this <laughs> this motivational speaker, yeah. and it turns out that he is a pedo. He's, he's got a porn dungeon. Yeah. They say dungeon. They say kiddie porn dungeon. Uh, yeah. Which you go, it's not really a dungeon. It's a cupboard. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's where he keeps all his shit. Yeah, yeah. Stash house. It's really sinister as well. Because... I knew this was coming up because this is one of the things I'd heard about this film. And when the fire the fire brigade are going through his house, all you hear is one of them go, there seems to be a secret room back here. And you're like, oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh. Is fucking, do you know, fire brigade, first of all, is very funny when I think about it. What a funny name. Like, brigade makes it sound like you think it's like... Christ, you're you're high as fuck, Colin. It's like the Green Brigade. <laughs> There's fucking brigade in here. <laughs> like, yeah, right. No, uh, what? But do you know in the when he's chatting to all the the students when he says, "Is that all the? Is that all the gusto? Is that all the gusto you can muster?" Yeah. It's like I just imagine pulling that one out just the tonic <laughs> as an MC. You're gonna have to bring this home. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to bring this home. Magic and I just the tonic and going. Oh, I see a lot of fear in here tonight. <laughs> well, one of the kids like how does like to help him stop pissing himself. <laughs> What's wrong with you is fear, and the doctor's probably like, no, his bladder is. <laughs> it's not to do with fear. <laughs> yeah, the kid's got a ruptured bladder. Yeah, you bring a bit of love into your. Thing. <laughs> one of them is like, how am I? And I couldn't know what I'm gonna do when I grow up. Uh, and I was like, that kid's like 19. That's one of the, do you know, that's that's one of the, the sinister bits about the end of the film. Yeah. When, when, so when Donnie Darko has, so the, the the jet has gone through the portal at the end. The jet, the engine has gone through the portal. Yeah. So he is sa- is saving the universe and he's lying in his bed laughing because he knows he's going to save everyone that he's done. And then as he dies, everyone else wakes up. From like a almost like <laughs> yeah. a dream, yeah. Right, and they all so they've obviously been dreaming about some kind of shit. Yeah, everyone wakes up almost relieved or something because they've had a nightmare about clearly what's going to happen. Yeah, them. Swayze wakes up crying, so he's obviously <laughs> in the dream, gone. Fucking hell, I'm a real. I mean, I'm getting piece caught. Of shit here, and um, but that that's what's so sinister about it because even though he saves. <laughs> everybody else yeah. Swayze gets away scot-free oh, because, he does, yeah, yeah. because he doesn't burn down his house they never find the porn stash he's just, he just so he just do you, re- do you reckon he gets rid of it then I, I don't know uh, maybe it's so funny though if, if the people that he comes to their house a lot of times like oh, I never knew there was a room here he's yeah, turned it yeah. into a, a regular library now <laughs> Imagine, imagine it, it like after it, it, uh, Dory had sacrificed himself, he woke up and went, whoo, and then, <laughs> and then doubled down, fucking <laughs> built another room. <laughs> I really need to, this, it's hot on my game here. This is another film, though, I'd love to tamper with if I got to direct it. Mm-hmm. Like, what I would do is the very last scene, the <laughs> thing goes through the portal smashes into his room and just crushes his legs and he survives. <laughs> and he's screaming the whole time. He's like, what? <laughs> you got it all wrong. <laughs> just paralyze him. Oh, God. I think right. that's enough. Aye, it is. I think that's enough. Yes. Um, thank you for for suffering this. Yeah. Uh, and, the yeah. and you know what? <laughs> Porky pig, I hope you get molested. <laughs> Do you remember that was a line in it? Uh, the bit where they talk about the Smurfs. Oh, I gang bang with Smurfette. Anyway, absolute fucking class film. I loved it. Good film. I'm gonna go and watch it again at some point uh, next week. Um, next week we I've got to literally fuck all the plug now. Why? I don't really oh. get. I don't give a shit if you come and see anything <laughs> now. Like, you, know, you know, why don't you all go fuck yourselves? Yeah. <laughs> if you're in altitude, <laughs> come along to that. Like yeah, yeah. Sloss and Humphreys are there, yeah, uh, yeah. other folk, Cabanuel's there, yeah, yeah, then other people. Yeah, um, I think they're doing a live one. We'll be, I'll be doing one with him. Yeah, uh, 
Apart from that, literally nothing to plug. Um, keep sharing. The yeah, I'm back into normal gigs. Aye, just gigs. Aye, don't even. I'm not even gonna ask for the reviews anymore. Do you know what? Just give mm. us a shout. See if you like any of the episodes. Send us a wee message. Nah. It's very nice to. Yeah, they're nice. Get a message. Yeah, yeah. Just, I like. Yeah, I yeah. like ones where like you've ruined my day. Aye, yeah. You talked about whatever. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah, if we've really ruined a film for you, please let us know. Cause yeah, that's, yeah. That's why we're the only at. reason we're doing this. Um, next week, um, we are so we've done we've done a fair few serious ones mm. in a row. Yeah. So next week we're back doing a comedy, oh. and we are doing the Hangover, <laughs> the original Hangover, um, which is going to be class because I fucking love that film. Ta- Todd Phillips number two, hilarious. Um, so I'm going to be doing that next week. If you fancy watching it before then. Uh, but apart from that, that's for it. Yeah, we'll see you, um, and then we'll see whatever fucking video comes out of next week. Um, Colin's got to go and <laughs> edit this shit together. I've got to go and write for a topical. <laughs> news it's gonna be a long night. It, news show. I mean, if you want to know, it's now ten to one. Yeah, I've got to drive back to Glasgow, <laughs> and then once I get home, write for a topical news show. So great. Yeah, yeah. and I honestly don't care. I, I honestly could not. i so tempted to just rock up with fuck all and pretend I don't know any of the stories. Just like, winging it. What, the NH. Just say, just just bring in P. Yeah. Diddy to everybody. The fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is the NHS in such a crisis? I'll tell you why the fucking yeah, NHS yeah. is such a crisis. Yeah, yeah. Like P. Diddy running. I'm trying to think of any medical related joke. Know, so was um, I. P. Epididymus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right we'll see you next week goodbye